so I want to do a quick video on the new info I got on my loophole delta point. Well, I uh, called them up because I actually needed a new set screw. Those screws right there. I needed a new set, so they actually sent me a set for free, um, which was pretty cool. But I also asked them about their mounting kit. Actually, I'm going to... All right, about their mounting kit that this comes with. It actually comes with ten different guns that you can mount this to. Now, when I did, originally did research on putting red dot on a pistol, people get their slides milled. Now, I don't know if that's uh, required. I didn't know. Or if that's maybe just for extra durability, I'm not sure. But when I seen these, I I was kind of upset after I paid. I don't know I paid 85 bucks for that mount that I had on here. The with the rear iron sights and it, it raised it up. It was a Picatinny rail, but it looked kind of goofy. Well, these these mounts go right into the dovetail. You screw it in and it's done. That's all you need. I called them up. I found that out. No milling required, which is awesome. And if I were to ever buy another gun, let's see. I'll just name off a few that it fits. Uh, this is a Beretta, Beretta 92. Obviously the M&P. The Springfield XD. The SIG 226, the Glock 17, the HK P2000, the Kimber with the, it says fixed adjustable on there, not sure what, what that means. I'll never be able to afford a nice Kimber, so that don't really matter to me. A CZ 75. And a 1911, and then also one of these is actually for uh, mounting to a, I believe it's a Smith and Wesson revolver. Yeah, that's the the loophole delta point. Very happy when I found that out. Yeah, here's my my old sight mount. It's cool, but if I can just put it right on the slide, that's uh, pretty nice. I don't know if any other micro red dots have those mounts the mounting kit like that so I guess I can sell this uh, don't really need it I have my stock rear sight so if I ever do want to take this off I can pop the sight back in so anyone who has a red dot other than a delta point that wants to put it on their gun and not have to pay you know a couple hundred dollars to mill their slide this is what you need right here but I found out that my red dot I don't need it so that's awesome it looks a lot better Less bulkier, the dot is much closer to the to the the bore, the bore, you know, whatever you call that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's awesome. I love, you know, it looks a lot better, and it's a lot easier to shoot, believe it or not, because it's more, you know, it's closer to where you're used to with the iron sights. But I just wanted to let you know. The delta point, the loophole delta point, no need to mill your slide anymore. Pretty awesome. I also polished one of my magazines. Uh, I'm not doing the other one because I don't have the right stuff right now. I'm all out of my Dremel stuff. It's all wore out. So I literally sanded this by hand and... Uh, use the buffing wheel afterwards. The back there is kind of that won't come out. I don't know if there's lines in the steel or what, but it turned out decent. But yeah, that's my video. Uh, loophole delta point red dot on my M&P. And hopefully I'll take it out shooting and make another video with it. Thanks for watching.